Welcome back on the menu tonight. We got triple layered, low fat, salted caramel, frothed hot cocoa. Yes, I'm calling it hot cocoa. If you're using powder, technically it's called hot cocoa. If you use melted chocolate, you can call it hot chocolate. I grew up calling everything hot chocolate, so feel free to call it whatever you like. Either way, this stuff is delicious. Too good to be true, you say, low fat. Uh, let's get into it and I'll show you how it's done. So, uh, in part, this is low fat because I'm using uh, half and half, but it's fat free. And, you know, you may have seen these TikTok uh, videos. They're doing whipped hot chocolate and they're using. <laughs> Not, not just not full fat milk but they're actually using heavy cream um, or whipping cream and that stuff has about eight grams of fat per two tablespoons something ridiculous this hot cocoa that i'm going to use this is uh trader joe's salted caramel it's um pretty much all natural even the 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 caramel is natural which i like but in three tablespoons it's only got four grams of fat and that's what you can see that so all in this is um pretty low fat there's a there's a to make it a triple layer i'm going to use about an ounce and a half of full fat um, um uh, half and half but that only has three grams of fat in it so overall for hot chocolate it's pretty good if you don't have um trader joe's um you grew up on swiss Miss like i did packets work uh ghirardelli is good except it's that's unsweetened so you gotta add your own sugar this comes sweetened uh, if you're in the UK or Europe, maybe you have your Ringtons. It all works. I'm going to show you how to do the frothing technique and how it all goes. In the interest of time, I've already preheated about four ounces. Now, this calls for about eight ounces normally, but um, I'm frothing it, so I need space here. Um, plus, I want to make it a little bit um, stronger in terms of the, the, the amount of chocolate, so you get that triple layer effect. Um, so I've heated about four ounces. I did it for about a minute and a half in my microwave. Oop, so a little bump there, that's not good. Um, that means I probably heated it too much. There is a key to frothing and you want everything to be um, heated. You want to heat your milk prior <clears throat> so that it froths better. However, um, if you do what I probably just did, which is you heated it too much, you're going to get lumps or a skin on there. You don't want that, especially if you're using a stovetop. Watch out for that. You can either use a microwave or stovetop. Um, you may have to experiment based on the size of your microwave and how powerful it is. To do our frothing, the trusted arrow latte. Um, but before we do that, we're going to add the, um, the hot cocoa. And there's a little step here. Most people would assume that we're going to froth right away, but that's actually not the case. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of this. As I said, that's probably a lot of chocolate for this. So because I'm only using half the amount of milk, but well, let's go with two at least. Let's see how that goes. Now, this is what I started to say before. We don't start frothing right away. If I did, I would create almost like a mud and it wouldn't froth. It would just be a complete mess. So I actually do want to stir it up a little bit before and then we can get the frothing process going. Obviously, you know, you, uh, what do they say, season to taste. If you want more chocolate, add more chocolate. If you like less, do a little bit less. Um, now, here's the technique. We're basically aerating this, and we're going to build our froth. You see that we start off with our uh, half and half up to here. By the end of this, it's going to be quite high. And that's why we need that space in the glass. Now, what does frothing really do? Why? What, what are we frothing? What are we, well, frothing actually does two things. It adds texture, which is kind of interesting on the, on the tongue and the palate and the taste. But it also does change the profile. Why? Because the lighter parts, the, 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 the foamier parts, are going to taste lighter than the rich, heavy, dark chocolate at the bottom. And so, especially when we add a third layer, when you mix the two or three even layers, that lighter, um, frothier uh, texture taste in your mouth. Um, and as you take that gulp down, it meets the dark chocolatey taste. It actually changes the whole profile. Um, it's kind of like a latte or, um, or a cappuccino. It same, works the same way. And that's why we want to do froth. As opposed to just stirring our hot chocolate the normal way.
All right, so now this is almost ready. Getting some reflection there, but when I pour it into the next glass, and you don't have to, you can actually pour the second half and half right into here, but if you want a real three-layered look, we're gonna pour this right into that three-layer after I finish roughing it. So let's give this a rest. Hopefully, this was also preheated. It's about one and a half ounces, if that. Um, this is also getting a skin. So let's see what happens here. may seem like a lot of work <laughs> and it is more work than just stirring for sure but it's gonna look impressive it's gonna taste impressive and um, yeah it's a small little glass you can make bigger glasses if you like but um, if you're doing this for after dinner drinks it's pretty cool because not many people are doing this um, hopefully your kids will appreciate it too depends on how old they are I think. So we're getting a good froth here. You guys can see that. One last froth on this side. The batteries are dying. That's not good. Just a little extra froth. And again, if I had pulled, done this right when I pulled them from the microwave, there was a good, you know, three, four minute lag between the time I started the video and the time I started using it. The hotter, the better. All right. Do a nice slow pour. start to go. And if we really want to get fancy, we're going to add a little bit of this cocoa powder. Just a touch on top. Nope, it's not cinnamon. It's not a latte. It's low fat, salted caramel, hot cocoa. And that is just as delicious as it looks. Now, yes, I promised three layers. <laughs> as this settles, this is this is going to be a darker uh, chocolatey color. This is going to be your lighter chocolatey color, and you got your white on top. There it is. It's absolutely delicious. As I said, now you can see when you drink it, you're going to get that chocolate coming through the white, or the plain um, froth milk and a little bit of that chocolate powder tastes absolutely delicious um, as promised low fat easy to make i hope you enjoy this i hope you try it yourselves if you have any questions please give me a um well please write uh, write them in the uh, comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible um if you try it and it works i want to know if it doesn't work let me know maybe i can help you um but yeah enjoy thanks for joining me